Steve, um, this is your first time here at the home of cricket. What's um, what are your um, first impressions? It is. I I can't believe it's even more beautiful than I was expecting, and somewhat I guess emotional too. You know, just hearing so much about a place and um, being so close to someone who had such a connection to such a special place as Lords. It's wonderful to finally be here and just get a sense of what my grandpa was talking about I suppose because it did mean a lot to him this ground. Mm. What are your memories of your grandfather? My memories of grandpa are <laughs> um, his laugh, his hilarious raucous laugh. Um, I used to bound up the stairs into his den which was um, sort of like his public office. He had two offices. Um, he had his hidey hole and his den um, bounding up the stairs into his den, jumping on his lap and trying to wind the poor chap, <laughs> which was, I was actually quite effective at <laughs> as, as I got older. Um, I remember fishing off the balcony at his house and, um, and having him and my grandma, who I called Lala, attach little things like ribbons or shoes to the, um, to the, the reels or the, the reel. Um, I remember challenging Grandpa to a race across the yard and asking him to take it seriously and no, run properly Grandpa, I don't want you to humour me, I want you to run properly and it was like the chap just teleported across to the other side of the, the yard, it was amazing, I couldn't believe how fast he was. Um, I, I probably more than anything I remember his music and his love for music. Um, he absolutely loved the soprano voice in particular, loved show tunes, um, works with orchestra, um, loved some jazz as well and I remember walking up his driveway and if he was home and unless he was you know in a meeting or, or busy he would be sitting at his piano playing playing his piano, usually Chopin and then as he got older um, and his hands kind of slowed down in the last 10 years of his life or so, maybe five years of his life. He played more Andrew Lloyd Webber, which he really, really loved. And just walking up that driveway and hearing him play music, which, yeah, that'll, I mean, that'll stay with me forever. And clearly he was a very good pianist, but as you know, and as, as the Crixie world knows, he was probably one of the greatest uh, batsmen ever. What, what did he tell you about his time as, as, as a batsman and, and playing for Australia and also at the moment, you know, playing in, in an Ashes <laughs> series? Yeah, you know, he didn't, he didn't really tell me uh, a lot about his playing. He told me more about, um, I suppose he used his own experiences to try to impart on me and on my brothers a sense that of perseverance and just working away at something. And so he'd tell us stories about places like, like Lords or like the time um, when he went along to the dentist because he had a sore tooth and he had all his teeth pulled out and went out um, and played the next day. And, you know, just with a mouthful of, obviously, just very sore gums. And um, I suppose just talking around experiences like that with him and, and his playing experiences and just, it was never, Whenever he shared any anything like that, it was never about him or about his successes or about how great it made him feel. It was all about trying to teach us the value of modesty and perseverance and and hard work and just doing our best. And yeah, that's something that I think Grandpa was all about, um, particularly modesty. Like you know, we never got the sense that he was. Um, you would never. We would never have known that he was some sort of a, you know, fantastic sportsman, um, except that he did still run very fast. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I believe you've just popped into the MCC Museum, and I'm, I'm sure you had a look at the Ashes Urn and uh, the, the latest, the Bradman Collection, which is now here at the museum. Um, what was that like? Just beautiful. Yeah, incredible. Seeing, you know, the ashes, it's so tiny. <laughs> um, and I think that really goes to the heart of you know so much about about the game of cricket and um, and about 
you know, grandpa as a man um, and about this place is not just about, you know, the, the beautiful ground and the, the gorgeous weather. And um, it's really about the, um, the spirit that lives on in, you know, in it, which is so much more than the ashes themselves. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's amazing seeing something that is so, so old and so meaningful in the flesh. And I can't not ask you, um, have you played any cricket in your time? <laughs> you know, yes, I have. I love any sport that involves wielding a bat. <laughs> I just love, including cricket. Um, my Probably my favourite sport to play is hockey. Um, but partly, maybe that's because as soon as... If your last name's Bradman, as soon as you pick up a bat, everyone wants to bowl you out. <laughs> But I really, I love the game and I love playing it and just love watching it in the flesh.